Oh, big one. Big one? Big one. It's a bass. It's giant. Yeah, it's a big, it's a nice bass. Nope. Nope. You're good. You're good. Oh, yeah. Dudes, welcome back to another one. Today, we got myself, we got Mr. Mr. Hazelnuts. You guys, you guys all know Mr. Hazelnuts. If you don't, what the heck you doing? I don't know, go follow him and stuff. But we are out on beautiful Gall Lake today in Mr. Hayes' boat, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing some bass fishing and hopefully creaming them. We're, looks like we're starting out on docks, eh, Hayes? We're gonna fish a stretch of docks here, uh, with some shallow sand. We're gonna try to imitate what they're feeding on. Crayfish, of course. A little quarter ounce jig, can't beat it. Let's skip it under here. Put some fish in the boat. I don't know about him, but I'm using a 3 8 ounce jig, so yeah. Let's uh we, we we're both hooked up with chesties, so let's let's catch some bass. Stay tuned, dudes. Spot number one, dudes. Total bust. We are headed. What, what, what are we gonna go fish now? Pencil reeds? Uh coontail and then pencil reeds. Coontail and then pencil reeds. Strap in. Let's go. Good. Spot three sucks. Next spot. <laughs> yeah, I just, I think it, you know, it's got something to do with the water temperature. Think so? I mean, it's 63 right now, and a week ago it was 70. We're talking about nights dipping down into the mid 40s to low 50s. That's gonna take the water temp and it's gonna go pew, right down. I think we're gonna have to get aggressive and go shallow. What do you think, buddy? Listen to Murray. Don't listen to yourself. Advice for all you. Not a bad one, huh? First fish of the day. Mm-hmm. Little Texas rig. Craw. Only took about three, four spots later. I think we're gonna catch them schooled up here though, so let's get her back and see if we can catch another one. Oh, dude, big, big bass just followed me. No, it stop, didn't. stop, stop, I'm not kidding. Yeah. So you can probably see my GoPro footage. <laughs> dude, I'm not kidding. <laughs> No, and then you cast to the dock. Is that where you were casting before? Yeah. It was under the dock then. I don't know if it was under the dock. About to start cranking. Right after I get one on. Yeah, so. Huh? Oh, you're right, Murray. Uh -uh. Another two pounder. Are you serious? God damn it, we need to start throwing like swim jigs and shit. Mother Same thing happened to you. Right? You'll, you'll see this on here, guaranteed. You know what it means? It means moving. Yeah. It means moving. I got the perfect, perfect thing for these largemouth. A Fire Tiger DT10. Ooh. This thing is straight greasy out here. What did I say, Murray? What did I say, baby? What did I say? It ain't a bass. <laughs> whoop, whoop. That don't count. Dude, we should go hit that dock again after this. All right, dudes. It's been super slow. Me and Hayes. Uh, we're skipping this little section of docks when we found like a whole school. How many fish were here? Like eight to ten? Yeah. 
like, and there's some good ones too in there, but they, I don't know, I think we were too close to the boat, they seen us, they might have got a little spooked, so. We gave them like a half an hour break. We tied on some finesse. I got a little six cents uh, shaky head on there, and a little, and a little divine shaky worm. And uh, I think Hayes is rocking a weightless Cinco. Let's see if we can get him to bite. <laughs> got one. Yeah. Got one. Yeah, that was a good call to come back. First cast, let it milk a little bit. Oh, big and this is a freaking good one, dude's first cast into there. Oh yeah, just a little butterball. It's been super tough. The struggle's been real. Oh yeah, two-handed him. Look at that nice little bass. My first bass of the day. And he choked that little divine shaky worm. That is sick. Well, I'm gonna get a fast release on this guy on this side, and let's try to. I think me and Hayes are gonna try to catch some more. Oh, yes, Hayes, let's get back in there. All right, so earlier we identified some bass under a dock. We spooked them coming in too quick, but we just came back to that dock and plucked a three pounder. So we're up on the northern part of Gull, uh, a little bit dirtier water. Uh, water temp's a little warmer, 65 up here, 62 on the main lake. So I think we're gonna stick with this pattern and run some more docks in the north end here in this warmer water and just see if we can pluck a few more. Yeah. Uh oh, big one, looking at it. Giant came out and looked at it. Mm-hmm. That fish will eat. There he is, Murray. Hold on, hold on. We got him. Is this him? Mm-hmm. Come here, buddy. Come here. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fish number two. Same thing. Same approach. Just whack the shaky head. This little guy actually followed Hayes out, and I cast back in there and got him that things are solid all right let them go let them grow seen that one. I need a new shaky head. Get him, Hayes. If you don't, I will. I, I, I got a hook in him. Oh, I don't matter with these, with these six cents baits. Son of a gun. I screwed up my chance, man. That was my, ch my opportunity to shine. Let me test this in here once. Just a baby. Oh, he wanted it though. What do you think, Mary? What do you think? Just a little guy. Oh, heck yeah. All right, dudes, heading to a new strip of docks. I think we are finally kind of starting to dial these things in. What do we got now? Four? Five? Yeah, we got five. Five or something? Things are looking up. Let's go. Big, big. It's a bass. It's giant. Yeah, it's a big. It's a nice bass. Nope. Nope. You're good. You're good. Oh yeah. Buddy. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. That troll car hook in there. Boom. Look at that thing. Couldn't resist the pack crawl. Beautiful. Probably a three pounder. Got black marks on him. Black marks on the back of him there. The biggest one of the day. Oh yeah. Beautiful fish. Chunk a chunk a chunk a dunk. That is sick. Biggest one yet. Yeah, let's put him back. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's gonna close out today's episode of Fishing More Outdoors. But uh, it was a, a tough day. We work for our fish. 
Um, it was really interesting. I think coming into fall turnover here, we're a few degrees away from the water turning over. These bass were acting a little weird. They were sitting sort of in sand patches, you know, out in front of these docks. A lot of the docks have weed rollers. What that does is clears the weeds, and there's patches of sand out in front of these docks, anywhere from like six to 10 foot of water. And that's where the fish were, were kind of sitting. You know, we saw a lot of bluegills in there. That could have been the reason they're there. Uh, there could have been more light beaming down on them. Maybe they're looking for, for more sun. I don't really know, but that was kind of the pattern today. Basically, all of our fish were under docks or out in front of docks with sand. So yeah, it's a good thing we put it together and, and caught some fish, so yeah, that's all I got to say. Yeah, dudes, like Hayes said, it was super tough, but we had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this. So if you guys could, go down here, like this video, smash that subscribe button, share this video, hit that bell next to that subscribe button, and you guys got to start fishing more. We will see you next time.